Hmm. I contemplated putting on makeup, but then I just like didn't care anymore. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and today is not a food related video. Oh my god, you can see my pile of laundry. This is where I put clothes that aren't dirty yet, but like aren't dirty enough to be washed yet so I can wear them another time. Today I'm going to be sharing, I don't know, just some like wedding planning stuff. A lot of you have asked if I'm going to have a vegan wedding. Definitely. I don't really want animals to die for my wedding. And with Eddie and me both being veg, it's less of like an issue with my family. So today I'm actually packing some bridesmaids bags. This is not really like a traditional thing, but this is just something that I just think is fun. I'm having three bridesmaids. I got a bag. This one's for myself. It was I kind of like I saw all these and they were like really nice when I got them personalized. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to get one for myself. So I ordered four, got them all personalized. So these are my bridesmaids. Woo! You guys have met Janelle. Um, you guys have seen Ashley. If any of you are like nerdy or like comic books, um, Ashley is one of the hosts on Jawin sometimes, which is Jason Inman's channel. Ashley and I have known each other since we were like 10. So it's pretty unreal that we're both like on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Margot is one of my friends from high school. Janelle, you guys have met. And this is mine. So I don't need to pack this bag because this is just mine. I wanted to give something that was like a bridesmaid proposal that was reusable essentially. <laughs> you know, you can use these as like a makeup bag or just like a pouch in your bag to like hold electronics or whatever. I got like a big enough size that it can hold a good number of things. I got them gray lined with a rose gold foil because that is my theme colors. Well, sort of. It's gonna be navy and rose gold. I got lip balms for everyone. These are from David's Tea and they're all vegan, which is pretty cool. And I also got everyone tea. And I actually didn't know what tea Ashley would want, but I got a chocolate chili chai for Margot. I got a raspberry mojito for Janelle. And I don't know what to do for Ashley yet but that I'll decide that shortly. I also got this bag of Squish candy. This is the vegan mix from Squish. It is a, I think a German based company, but they're here in Canada and they have a bunch of vegan candy. So these are different selections. My favorite ones are the roses and I actually bought a bag just for myself because these are my favorite. They're like gummy berry candies basically and they're so good. I've never tried these ones. I think I'm gonna take one of them and try it. There's frosty lemonade, red roses. Anyway, they're all vegan um, and they're really great. So I'm gonna stuff these into the bags and that'll be my bridesmaids gifts. I actually also have another gift for Janelle because she's going to be my maid of honor. And I have a ring that I ordered that's rose quartz because that's like something that's special to both of us. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that to come in the mail so I can't give that to her just yet. Margot, I'm seeing this weekend. So this is why I'm doing this all now. And then Ashley, I'm seeing in May when I go to LA for Eat Drink LA. That's what's happening here. In terms of like wedding planning so far, when I first got engaged, I got like really deep into the wedding planning thing because I just I, like whenever I get stressed out about something I like go on like a big research mode so I just read all the things I try to find all the resources for all the things I spent like five hours looking up like how much weddings generally cost and like how much what you need to look for when you're looking for a photographer uh, venues food catering how to narrow down your guest list and like it like made my eczema kind of blow up a little bit because I was just like so stressed out about it but Things are okay now, we're just sort of taking it one day at a time. We've like looked at a couple of venue places, but we haven't completely narrowed it down yet. Basically the biggest challenge for us has been finding a venue that will either be flexible or like creative with vegan food that's not just like a vegetable stack or like a risotto and not a fruit cup for dessert. Or the caterer that we want to work with and the venue that we want to work with, there's like a landmark fee, which is where they charge like a tax on your food because it's not from one of their preferred caterers. Or there's like some places that just don't allow an outside caterer at all, which is also very difficult. That's been a challenge, but luckily in Toronto, there's like a lot of places and there's like a higher density of vegans. So like most places have vegan options and like are aware of what vegan is, but just a lot of them are like not super creative when it comes to like playing around with vegan food. Oh wait, just hold on a second. Just stay right there. Turn around. <laughs> turn to me, turn to me. Oh, sorry. Am I closing my eyes though? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold out your hands. Okay, open your eyes. Will you be my maid of honor? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're proposing. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> what a cute little ring. Is that what's for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have matching ones. Oh, boom. Wow. Oh, oh shit. I should have filmed it. I just have the audio. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so pretty. I said put it on my other hand. <laughs> oh my god, look at my ring. I'm so happy. I'm engaged. We have matching ones. To be a maid of honor. <laughs> <laughs> 
Today is March 15th and uh, we're going to go see a venue today. We have our photographer nailed down. We pay the deposit. It hurt my bank account. We're going to go see a venue. Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you which one, but this one is like, it's kind of far, but it's not that far. It's like, it's still in Toronto. So that's like, that's good. But it's like this big venue. It's like a mansion essentially. I'm pretty excited about it. This was one of the locations that our caterer, um, Urban Acorn, um, recommended. We haven't like nailed down everything with Urban Acorn yet, but they sent over an estimate today. It's blowing us a little bit over budget, but the food is really important to me. I want the food to like be good, right? So I want people to enjoy like a gourmet, like elevated vegan meal. At the same time, I also kind of want to make a comfort foodie. I don't know, we haven't quite nailed down what we're doing yet. There's another venue that we're looking at that we really like, but um, there's a landmark fee of 30% on the food, which is pretty significant. Um, so that's not a fun time. That's where we're at now. I'll show you guys the venue. What are your thoughts on the venue? It's pretty. I really like it. It's also pretty cheap. No landmark P2. There's a lot more coordination on our part. I think it's worth it. The only coordination that we would have is setting up tables and decor, which is what we tend to do in the other place anyway. What's different about the other place? I don't know. But I like the ceremony area. I like that it's all here. Yeah. And that I there's- I just wonder what we'll do if uh, we get rained out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So we're about to call our caterer to try and figure out what we're going to do. We're having some issues with budget and we're picking from a giant list of stuff. Hi Marie, it's Lisa calling. Sorry, I haven't Hi called. Lisa. <laughs> Just as the weather's starting to get less garbage. I know, it's pretty bummer. So you're in speakerphone and uh, Eddie is here as well. Hello. Hi Eddie, how are you doing? Yeah, you know, it's all right. <laughs> you know, what? wedding planning, you know? Yeah. <laughs> super fun. <laughs> they will get to the point where it will get super fun if it's not there yet. So once you get the big hurdles done, everything kind of falls into place. That's what I we promise. were hoping, yeah. So we were looking at the estimate and then the menu. So I just wanted right. to double check what it means. <laughs> the menu, obviously, um, the two course dinner, people can pick either a soup or a salad. Is that what the choice is? It would basically be a two course where you would be selecting, pre-selecting for everyone, either a soup or a salad. Oh, okay. A an alternative to doing a plated dinner was to do sort of just doing an extension of the past hors d'oeuvre um, in small plates because that would give you a, a lot more flexibility in pricing and you'd be able to do a lot more. The second you want to do sit, sit down, uh, there's just so much more that I require in terms of staffing and logistics. Okay, have you either of you been to a party with just kind of past hors d'oeuvre? Like a, cocktail events in general? No, we're, we're kind of lame. Well, I mean, you may have. With, uh, like with work events, maybe, yeah. The, the general principle with that sort of style is that because it doesn't have assigned seating, it's a little less structured. The experience I tell uh, clients, your guests are sort of subjected to an endless stream of food for two and a half hours. You know how you've got different rooms in the venue? Yeah. Like you walk in, there's like a parlor room, there's like little rooms upstairs. Um, that style really lends itself to sort of people strolling around and exploring a little bit more mm -hmm. as opposed to going into the room and sitting down and being there for two, for, you know, two hours or an hour and a half or however long the dinner service is. Do you want the plated or do you, are you thinking of the small plates? You know? Think of a side plate. Think of like, um, like a six inch side plate, something that would fit in the center of that. So if, uh, if a main course, let's say, is five to six ounces, this is more like three to four ounces. So it's a dwarfed version of a dinner portion, and it's meant to be sort of one of many things that's coming out. So you still get your past hors d'oeuvre. No, I was just trying to grasp the main difference there. No, the only difference, really, like you get like a lot more like variety of food instead of yeah. just one main course and one soup or salad, whatever we end up choosing. But this could be like four or five small plates, or how, how many small plates do you think that would be? So uh, however many want, you want to put in there, I usually recommend somewhere between one to three. Uh, most clients order two. What do you think of that? 
What do you want to do? I want people to be able to enjoy good food. I feel limited with just two courses. Mm. Yeah, we do do that. Because I'm worried that people might not like a pot pie. And if that's like the only option, then I'm like... Everyone loves pot pie. I just don't want to like disappoint people. There's like a lot of pressure for like, you know, a solid vegan right. wedding experience. Everything is possible. It just comes down to what experience you want your guests to have and what you're comfortable with. All right, so that was productive. We didn't decide on anything. We decided on small plates. I just want people to have like a lot of good food. We're gonna get another revised estimate. We need to send in our application for our venue. We got the two big things more or less sorted. Yay? Yay? Yay. And then we have to start deciding on decor, centerpieces. I have to go shopping for some thrift items for centerpieces. But if we're not having a see it thing, we don't have to worry about centerpieces as much. DJ, I talked to Dan about his cousin. Uh, I'm gonna need you to follow up and uh, get his contact info. So I'm gonna let you take care of that. Okie doke. So I think this is where I'm gonna end the first video vlog on the wedding thing. I don't know if you guys are that interested in it. If you are, let me know. But it's just like, it's a challenge to like plan everything to be like a vegan wedding, but also be within what people's expectations are of a wedding while also fitting in our budget. Weddings are expensive, yeah. which is why people have stag and does to raise money. So are we gonna have a stag and dough? You said you didn't want it. I mean, I just feel weird asking people for money. I can't even do it on YouTube. I don't know, do you want a stag and dough? That's another venue we have to, like there, it has its own hassles, but it may be the only thing that's gonna offset our costs. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, give it a like, comment down below. What do you think? Did you have a stag and dough for your wedding? Or a dough and dough, or stag and stag, or a pre-wedding party? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye.